What's going on guys? Got something really cool to show you today. New to the market. I have been given permission by Glades Armory to show you this one. This is a new bolt handle that they're working on. Uh, this is a prototype, of course, that's why it's orange and 3D printed. Um, I can't really run this right now because I'd probably snap it, but uh, because it is just a 3D printed design right now. However, these are uh, getting ready to be machined for the CZ527 and they will be modeled after the new design bolt handles. If anybody's familiar with the CZ527, the older designs had a lot more material right here and so they had a lot harder time clearing uh, different scope types and scopes in general. You had to buy real high mounts just to be able to mount a scope on there and be able to run your, run your bolt on there. So these will be modeled after the new designed bolt handles and uh, this is again just a prototype and you can see there's a rim on there and there's some threading on there. Uh, the reason there is threading showing on this one is because it is a prototype and that is about the length possibly that they'll be going with on these. So not too long, not too short, going to give just enough clearance out there to even run such as this uh, Burris MTAC on here which has I believe a 44 millimeter um, ocular piece on there even to be able to run that on uh, these are worn QD uh, rings on here that are medium height. So even running a medium height ring on there uh, with a 44 millimeter ocular piece on here, you can still have clearance on this scope with this bolt handle here. Of course, this rim probably won't be there. Not quite sure, but I wanted to give you guys a good heads up because I got a lot of guys asking me, um, what's the news on the CZ527 new, <laughs> new part that I was uh, eluding at? In one of my other videos and this is it right here and uh, it's gonna really really alleviate a lot of that problem that a lot of people have with scope clearance running the bolt with a big ocular piece on there and having to run high rings and all that stuff should alleviate a lot of that depending on the design now I will be documenting this from here on out as soon as I get the new uh, machined handle I'll probably have the first one in the world to uh, hit ZRUS and I almost lost one of their bolt handles here but uh, I should have the fresh ones straight out of the machinery uh, to be able to be testing on with this scope setup right here because these are these scopes right here these low power variable optics are getting kind of mainstream so a lot of guys are running these um, and for good reason they're great scopes again this is the Burris MTAC and it has a 44 millimeter um, ocular piece on there and I can still clear with no problem with this one now I have been running the uh, new design bolt factory bolt handle on this right here with no problem at all either So this is going to give you a little extra length out there to be able to run your bolt with no problems Without rubbing your your knuckles up against the uh, the scope if you guys know if you guys are familiar with what I'm talking about here The nice thing about this design here because the way glades armory produces their bolt handles is that they do have uh, the threading on there that you can change out your bolt handles. You can swap it to, say, a ball handle if you're more comfortable with something like that. Um, they also sell their very large uh, bolt handles, or bolt knobs, I should say, on there as well that you can slap on there if you wanted more of that kind of contour. They do have your standard knurled with uh, rubber O-rings on there as well that you can thread on there. And they also have a really aggressively knurled one on there as well that you can slap on there if you like if you like the way that feels or if you like the way that looks of course so opening up a wide uh, variety of options for the CZ527 it's really cool to see a company like that do that uh, Glades Armory they are really stepping up to the plate as far as making aftermarket parts for the CZ527 outside of just you know your optics and your sights and whatnot so it's gonna be really cool gonna be really excited to uh, try some of this stuff out and you guys will know as soon as I know um, if you follow me on Instagram, I will be posting pictures there and on my Facebook, which are both linked down there in the description box down below. If you guys wanted to get the first-hand looks at some of the machined parts that we're going to be getting in, we will be doing the first trials on them, as well as they have a CZ527 that they're going to be running it on as well. And then, as soon as they're available to the public, you guys will know as soon as I know. So again, this is made by Glades Armory. These guys have been really cool to our channel and have... Uh, uh, sponsored a couple of our videos and purchasing ammo for us or basically sending funds for us to purchase ammo for videos so really cool guys over there and it's kind of cool to be part of something like this and I just wanted to give you guys a good heads up on it again made by Glades Armory I have their link down there in the description box down below they make a lot of good stuff for a lot of bolt actions out there but uh, this should be a really nice addition to the CZ 527 
Um, the exact lengths, not sure. Again, this is a prototype, and uh, we'll see what it's looking like. And again, I'm going to be documenting it from here on out. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a good look at that. I had a lot of guys asking. I figured I'd just go ahead and address it in its own separate video just to kind of build the audience for the new product coming out. And you guys get to follow along with, uh, with this whole project. So we appreciate Glades Armory uh, helping out our channel. appreciate you guys checking out our videos. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Check out our links down there in the description box down below for our Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date on these new handles coming out. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Next one.